Now into a completely different conversation and this one has to do with national service personnel. Get up. I've got three gentlemen in the studio. Don't give up the fight. Hamidou Mahamadou, Tema Metro NASPA president. I also have Anthony Ahoto, Accra Metro NASPA financial secretary. Ezekiel Kwashi also in the studio, Ashaiman municipal president. Gentlemen, hello, good morning to you. Welcome to the program. Yeah, good morning. And yes. Good morning to your cherished listeners. How are we doing this morning? Is your fine? Yes, are we sure? Because um, uh, that's not the sense I'm getting from uh, Hamidou. Hamidou looks like he's ready to uh, unleash this morning. Uh, but again, good to see you. Uh, I, there's, there's a lot going on, you know, a lot that's happening. I think I, I hand it over to you guys. Let us know why you're here today. What exactly is going on as far as the national service situation is concerned? Who wants to start us off? All right. So... First of all, um, I would want to give you an overview of sure. uh, um, how we've, uh, like, from where we started and why we are here today. Sure. And also, a reminder, we're streaming on the socials. So we're streaming on Facebook at 3FM 92.7. We're also streaming on X. So right. if you are watching on the socials, you can catch us there. Sure, all let's right. hear from you. So on um, October... 17, 2023, the concerned National Service personnel received a letter from the Greater Accra Regional Police Command pledging their support to provide security for an intended picketing at the National Service Secretariat after several engagements with the police. Subsequently, the October 24th uh, picketing was called off following a call by the Executive Director of NSS who scheduled a meeting to resolve our concerns. The first meeting was inconclusive, and he promised to schedule another meeting with the involvement of the national executive accountant and all those who matters uh, to this. Mm. Yes. A series of such actions like Occupy UPSA Auditorium protests, among others, were called off with the anticipation that our grievance would be resolved internally. The last attempt was a petition sent to the NSS executive director by the group on uh, November 27th. 2023, to which uh, we've not gotten any response. Right. Mm. So following several engagement with the scheme over these grievances, we finally approached par Parliament with the utmost confidence to intervene. And uh, um, it was yesterday that I received the call that mm -hmm. the Speaker of Parliament have uh, responded and uh, he then we should come to the legal department for a letter. But for now, I don't know the content of that letter. So, okay, so set it out for us. You took us a, a down a, tr a trip down memory lane. Yes. So this is it started last October. Outline for us what are the the grievances there. Yes, so I've given you like an overview. Of an like overview. Where we started. Sure. From. Sure. Yes, so uh, the reasons why uh, we are having these grievances, the it's which it is with respect to payment of arrears. Okay, payment of arrears. Oh, yes, increment. Sure. Yes, so that was that's one wrongful deduction from of an um, amount of twenty five CD from our personnel across board. That's those under the subvented category, those under the public sector. Okay. The lack of transparency in the disbursement of our dues. Okay. And then a uh, payment of uh, payment of outstanding allowance. There, there are some of our colleagues who are still being owed about some in some instances six months five months four months those are unique concerns not a general concern okay yes okay and the payment of october allowance okay yes and then september allowance not duly paid to the central regional national service personnel and many of the personnel in the central region in, in ghana received only 155 cd as an allowance for september this has since not been resolved as they are entitled to 715 cities, um, 57 pesos. There are other concerns like uh, allowance of the new personnel, those who have just come. Okay. Yeah, so they, they started service, uh, that was uh, the, um, November, 
And as we speak, they've not received any allowance yet, uh, certificate, and then um, cloth. Okay. They, 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 there, there have been a deduction of 85 CD for cloth, but most of the people are complaining that they've not received it. But I, that is, those are also unique problems. Okay. They are unique problems. Okay. So, um, out of uh, due to our actions, some of these um, grievances have been uh, resolved. The payment of arrears, the payment, the arrears have been cleared. Though not um, not all our our personnel have received it, but those that are not received, these are now unique problems. But it's not a general problem again. And then uh, the October allowance to have been paid. Okay. So these were the concerns we sent to Parliament, but uh, some of them have been resolved, like the arrears and then the October allowance. But the the rest have remained unresolved, and that is why. Uh, we are still uh, taking steps to mm. get these issues resolved. Right. Yeah. Okay, so you are the National it's the National Service Personnel Association. Yeah. And who are the members of this, associ of this association? Are, these all, are you all uh, still doing your national service? What does the membership comprise? All right, so we, have, uh, we are done with our service. But, okay. Uh, we remain executive until the next batch of... Uh, um, the, the current personnel until they elect their, their leaders mm. then we'll hand over to them. I see. For now we are still in the, um, acting as executives. So all three of you will soon be outgoing if yeah. you will. Yes. When did you start uh, your service? When did it end? Okay, we, st we started on 1st of November 2023. Okay. We ended on 30th uh, we ended on 30th October 2023. 2023. Okay, so when, when does the, the next intake or this, when does the ne next intake actually start? Um, that's 1st November 2023. 1st November? Last year. Last, last year. year. Okay, yes. so the next, but first, and they are yet to um, elect a president, executive, whatever yes. the, 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 the yes. case may be. In the coming months. In the I coming see, months. Yeah. Okay, but for now, you are still at the helm yeah. of affairs, and that's why you're advocating on behalf of exactly. NSS personnel. So you enumerated a number of grievances. Some have been resolved, you say, and some have not. What is the current um, uh, re remuneration for NSS? How much is it per month? 715 Ghana CDs. 715 Ghana CDs, 55 pesos. 57, 57, 57, 57 pesos. 57 pesos. Okay. And as at the time when you were looking to, I believe last October, you were looking to, to, to demonstrate or to picket, what were the areas at that time? Okay, so um, the areas, um, you know, since uh, government or the scheme came out to announce to the general public that the national service allowance have been increased from 559 to uh, 750. Uh, it was up until uh, when did they pay? Increment, yeah. July. Yes, it was up until July. Yeah, that, they paying. yeah, that they started paying. No, okay. they started paying from July, mm -hmm. but there was a backlog. Okay. And it it is that uh, it was that backlog that uh, we were. Um, maybe five ten four. Sure, yeah. sure, okay. And so as it stands, and, and, and right. Sorry, sure. that, that backlog. It's uh, that's from January to uh, June. Jan so the backlog was actually January to June. June those yeah, were the yeah. monies that were owed. Yeah. Were those unique instances, or was it across the board? It was across board. across yes. board yes. nationwide. Yes. So between for what about six months now, mm. NSS personnel didn't have monies. They, they they you were owed a backlog by government. So how were NSS pe personnel surviving? How were you surviving? By the grace. By the grace. <laughs> yes. What was the formation? Just zero zero one. one. Zero yeah. zero one, yeah. and I mean we make light of this, but this is the reality for 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 NSS personnel. If there's a backlog, you're going to have to get support from what family and and and, and friends. Yes, you know they, they have made the, the situation in such a way that the moment you are having your national service, parents be, believe that you are being paid mm -hmm. because whatever they pay one when they pay for one month, you hear it all over news. They come and announce they come it. Come and announce it that they have paid all allowances. Right. Meanwhile, they have paid for only one month. Okay. So your guardian or your parents who is looking after you thinks that you have been getting the money every month and you just been using it for your personal things. Mm -hmm. So this is what is actually happening. I see. But they are not really paying. 
So when they come and announce that a payment has been made, maybe the backlog is six months or exactly. four and months or three months, only but only one month has exactly. actually been dispersed. As of now, currently. Yes. The current national service personnel started servicing on 1st November. November. Mm -hmm. Today is 25th January. Right. They have not paid them one month. Even the evaluation form that is supposed to be out for them to use to pay them is not yet out. When would the evaluation form come out for them to use the evaluation form, submit to the district offices, from the district offices, go to the regional offices before it gets to national for them to be paid? So at this point, it's safe to say that if they started in November, so November, no pay. Yes. December, no, no pay. pay. January is about to end, no pay. It has already ended. ended. Fine, no, no pay. pay. Maybe February. February is automatically out. No pay. Because that is when, the, even if they are willing to pay, that is when the evaluation form will be out. If it's out, now that the, the personnel have to print it out, go to their various directors or whoever is in charge of their various institutions, for them to sign it for them. After they finish signing it, now that they will submit it to the di various district offices, the various district offices in Ghana, the NSS offices in Ghana, Afterwards, they will now do onward submission right. to regional offices before it gets to national. So it's p the potential exists that November no pay, December no, no pay, pay. January no, no pay, pay. February sure. yeah. automatically no pay. out. So actually, that has been the that has been the system. the system each year. So we keep seeing this issue happening each year, and we ask ourselves uh, if this issue is happening each year, what is our leaders or the scheme doing about it because why do you make individual start service november no pay december no, no pay, pay january uh, you now come and release evaluation form they have to submit then so many issues so you, you end up getting your allowance from sometimes february going and now when they pay the money mm. it's not that i come to pay all the four months so mm. they just come and pay one and two and it's very bad know that supervisors expect nsps to be to be at work every day. Really? But where should they get money to be transportation to be transporting themselves to work each day? The food they will eat. So uh, that mm. the system, I'm advocating for the system to be changed. If probably, because the narrative has been that this term, the three months, people still do their registration. They are still doing their registration. People are changing so many their registration and also I feel all these things should be done before even service personnel start their service. So that when we start your service, know that, yeah, your November, you are getting it. Your December, you are you're getting, getting it. it. But if you make us start a service, then you say, during the service, we have started service. You are now coming to do uh, register. People are still registering people. Let all those things be, be done, done before we start our service. Exactly. So that when we start our service, we know that we are getting our money. It's not that we will start after four months before you are coming to pay one. So you say this is not unique. Time after time, each intake that comes, it's, it's sort of it's the same, same thing that happens. Narrative. Let me invite NSS personnel who are watching us to leave us some comments on our stream. So we're on Facebook. We're also on X. So connect with us and let's hear from you. I'm sure when we open up the phone lines, a number of you will also let us know exactly what is going on. So, okay, we talk about the, the arrears. That in of itself is an issue. Then it comes to the issue of deduction. So tell us exactly what is being deducted and for what reason? Okay. Thank you very much. So, we are here today with so many grievances. One sure. has to do with 25 Ghana cities that was mistakenly or wrongly deducted from last year's, the immediate past NSPs, their allowance. That's August allowance. Okay. So, we'll take it step by step. 25 Ghana cities was deducted nationwide. <laughs> Uh, or for a particular Those that government pay the public okay. sector the public sector nationwide okay. sure. 25 Ghana cities then after they deducted that money mm -hmm. we informed our national executives that this is the issue at hand people are complaining that they still uh, they've deducted 25 Ghana cities for the second time what was the reason that that was deducted any reasons given the 25 cities oh okay so in the month of July, uh -huh. they deducted 25 Ghana cities, and that was agreed upon by the Congress members. Okay. That's for a uh, NASPA week celebration. Sure. Yeah. So in the next month, so it seems there was a system error. Okay. They deducted, they did another Again. deduction. Sure. Yeah. And we prompted the national executives that this is the issue. Mm -hmm. Please follow up on us. Immediately, our national president issued a communique mm. that he has gone to see in the scheme. Okay. And indeed, They've admitted that it's a mistake. Okay. So they are going to do what? Refund 
Okay. The money Let me take a look at that. Dated 6th of October. October. Okay, yes, so I've got that friend. here. 6th October. And it talks about the deductions from August 2023 personnel allowances. Okay, so uh, you wrote um to draw the attention to it no, the that, mistake this it's not we are not we are not the one who wrote this okay this actually came from the national national headquarters national headquarters national, national head president was this the a national president. president okay okay that makes sense so he's our rep at sure. the headquarters sure so sure. it must sure. he's together with the scheme yes, okay please. that makes sense uh -huh. so we made him know he issued this communique so that evening we were there just few people received their money majority were complaining that they still not receive their money. So and some people got that reversal. The money went back to the account. People, yeah, few people. Okay. Few people. Majority didn't get. And as district executives, I just want to let you know that when NSP service personnel have issue, they don't reach out to the regional executives. They don't reach out to the national executives, or they don't reach out to the scheme. We, the district executives, you are the, the first, first point, point of contact. Yeah. And yet, is the case. We have no idea of what is going on. So if we national executive, the district executives are telling you that the money has not been refunded, what are you supposed to do? Go and follow up for us. Since the six, uh, since six October, so date, they've been silent about the issue. If you tag them on the page, what is the update on the 25 Ghana cities? The national president, is, he will not mind you. Why? You are there to advocate and promote the welfare of NSPs. That is why we put you there as a national president. If you know you're not ready to champion the cause or fight this cause, why do you come for the position? So it's not that we are attacking the national president or it is, it is his fundamental duty. We are there to advocate for us when we have issues. Follow up for us. Till date, he has not done anything. It was just yesterday that we had an interview with uh, Onya TV. Then the videos went viral. Mm -hmm. Then the national president. He, he asked his uh, general secretary or the national, let me see, the national executive sure. issued a communique mm -hmm. that we should now visit our regional offices for to go and follow uh, to go and follow up on this money. So that was the communique is with. If oh, okay. yeah, it was shared on, it was shared to us yesterday that uh, please a minute. Sure. Is that? We urge all personnel with such issues and those who are yet to be reimbursed the unauthorized 25 Ghana cities deduction to visit their regional NSS office through their respective district directives for correction. So my question for the national president is, if you knew this was an initiative or something that you can do to rectify the issue, why that? We've been reaching out to you since 6th October. Mm. You are not coming to issue this complaint since you saw us on TV yesterday. Why should it be so? And now, even the way they want to solve this problem, we are not happy with it. You want us to visit our regional offices. Trust me, somebody will take 100 Ghana uh, or 50 Ghana cities to get to that regional office. So because of 25 Ghana cities, the person should go to the regional office and when follow up on this money. 25 his transport today is even more than the money is come to advocate When you for. say this is a, a, an error that can be rectified simply can be rectified. by putting the money in your account. And the money is no longer with the government or it's no longer with the controller again. The money came to the... Uh, they paid the NSPs, right? So if the money, they've been deduction or deduction, it autom automatically goes to what? The national NSS account. Okay. So that money should be there. It should be there. So they are supposed to refund that money immediately. That's it, October. They were supposed to, but you paid few and left some. Now, since that day, and my issue with this particular uh, concern has to do with okay, we were thinking because it was a rush, something they are going to rectify it when they make the next payment. Okay, you paid September allowance, you didn't rectify, you didn't refund that money, you paid that, yes, you didn't refund that money. Now, you paid October and the last, you didn't refund that money, mm. you are done paying the immediate past NSPs. When do they want to pay that money? Mm. Now, uh, now, I know also that you'll be going on TV to also expand on this conversation. So mm -hmm. I, I want us to be quick so we get an opportunity to amplify okay. the conversation over there. But let's hear... Let, okay, let's my last on. thing I want to sure. talk about has to do with... So the deduction, like I'm saying, they just paid few people and left majority. Sure. Let's take one district. For instance, Accra Metropolitan District. Mm. So... The servant, the those in the public sector, they are 3,514 by 25 Ghana cities. So you should know that almost 87,850 
That is the amount for just one district. And just few people in that district receive. When I reached out to them, majority said they've not received. And yeah, like again, we the district said we have no idea of what is going on. And we are telling you national follow-up for us up to now. And now you if you communicate that we should go in our regional offices. I people when you told them they are not willing to go because their transportation to the regional office is even more than that twenty five guns. Go to both of twenty five, they should go there. No, it's very bad. Yeah, so like he was he just sampled only one district. Mm-hmm. That is Accra Metro uh, Accra Metropolitan District. Mm-hmm. And they have a population the, those are the subvented category. That's the the, the public uh, sector. They are about fi- uh, three thousand five hundred and forty. So you multiply by twenty five city, then you have Eight and uh, eighty-seven thousand. That's eighty-seven thousand eight hundred and fifty. That's um the old currency. Uh, eighty-seven, eighty-seven uh, million. Million. No, eight hundred and eight hundred and seventy million. Old. Old currency. Old currency. Old currency. You bring yes. me to the new currency. Yes, How that's much? eighty-seven thousand. Okay. Eight hundred and fifty CD. That's mm. for only one district. Just one district. Just one district. Right. So th- that is why we are. So. If we say 25 CD, people don't understand uh, what we are talking about. They, they think, they will say, they, they say ah, but what, what is 25 CD? Uh, I, I mean, CD? I don't agree with that because even if it's 10 CDs, yeah. if I'm all that and it's due me yeah. and it's a process of putting it in my account, I, I was never going to even ask you, oh, 25 CDs, let it go because 25 CDs is a meal, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a taxi ride it's a, it's a, it's it's in today's Ghana every city every peso account so yeah. I don't think anybody should be asking an NSS personnel to relax because it's 25 cities it's a principle if something has gone awry and they've brought your attention to it I think the most prudent thing to do is to simply rectify we do make a lot of things so difficult and so stringent for ourselves to ask personnel to now go to the the, the regional office to go and get what is due them what is owed them I also don't agree that that is the best way to go. It has taken too long a time. There are some other deductions that were made. Tell us about that. Okay, so that that's the the disbursement, uh, our dues. Um, you know, before you enroll into the national service scheme, you have to pay forty cities via Momo before uh, they release the a pin to you. Okay, it is that pin that you would use to register. Okay. So, out of that forty cities, ten cd is allocated for dues. Okay. Yeah, 10 CDs allocated as dues. And then out of that 10 CD, or that 10 CD is disbursed uh, proportionately. That's uh, 50% to the district level, mm-hmm. uh, 30% to the regional level, then uh, 20% to the national level. So, uh, as we speak with you, or like I said earlier on, these monies are paid before we even start service. So they are supposed to be disbursed immediately we start or immediately executives are elected mm. so that they will use it for administrative purpose. These monies have been in the account of the scheme for, uh, more, for, for a year now. Mm. Yes, we agitated until they disbursed only one third of the dues to the various districts. Right. Um, but Eastern and Western region have not received anything at all. Mm. And uh, we, uh, we keep on asking questions, where, where is the rest of the money? Okay, so that's another grievance that yeah. is there. Some districts haven't had that disbursement whatsoever. Yeah. 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 Okay, any other uh, issues that we highlight before we, we allow you to go on, on TV3? You know, um, an issue about NSS certificate. Okay. You know, those days when you are done with service, you just go to your district and they'll give you a certificate. They'll issue right. the certificate. Right. Here lies the case. I don't know whether it's a contract that has been given to delivery boys. You'll be there and one delivery boy will call you that. I'm having your certificate. Hey. So where are you? Where can I locate you to bring it to you? You'll be there. Sometimes no, only a few people had it. Okay. But some people, you know, Ghana that we are in now, some people are taking advantage of that. Mm. And they are using it for so many things. Mm. Because then when they come to you, they'll ask you to pay them money. So your own certificate? Yes. A delivery person will call you we'll call to you deliver it and you have to pay. pay sometimes. Sometimes. Yes. Mm. So with regards to the NSS certificate. Right. So it's supposed to be free. The government takes in charge of the delivery of the certificate. But yeah, like At no the, cost to the personnel. No yes. It's supposed right. to be free. But the complaints we've been receiving as district executives, former NSPs, will be like some people, some of the drivers when they come, they demand money. Then they'll call me. Boss, am I supposed to? I'll say, no, don't pay any money. Because 
government has taken care of that. You get me? So some of the riders, they charge. Some too, no, they don't take. So I don't know. It's an issue that the scheme has to look into because it's very bad. So is that how now NSS personnel will receive certificates? It's coming by delivery. Are mm-hmm. others receiving it in different ways or that's the new strategy? That's, that's the, the new strategy, strategy that they have adopted. Yeah, but I, I think it's a good, it's, it's, it's a good initiative, but... Uh, it has to be uniform, isn't yeah, it? If yeah. some are paying and others are not paying, yeah. what is the arrangement so, that has so, been reached? So the, 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 the issue here is that uh, the delivery guys are taking advantage to extort the personnel. But complaints have been coming. The, the problem with national service is that when you complain, no one listens to you. That's the, that's Nobody, the listens. Nobody listens. Nobody yes. listens. Even people who go, those who go to the headquarters to even report, they'll just say, right there, they say, sign, go. It, it, will, it, will, it will reflect it's on your reception. Listen. That's all. They will just meet you the uh, the reception. The, the reception will just take your details and ask you to go, and it ends there. So it's a frustrating process yes. getting your exactly. your your grievances heard. Yes, mm. they want to come in. Now the issue about the immediate pass and SPs are certificate. Up to now, so people haven't received their certificates. Then, once again, I'm on our national executives. Okay, I've reached out to them several, especially our national president. Boss, you are there to do what? Promote our interest. If you have any issue, we come to you. People are still complaining that what? They've not received their certificate. Just go to the scheme. Since you are rep there, go and find out what is the status. Or if not, go to the printing press. What's the status of the NSS certificate? This and this. They are come and update us. You see, when you talk, when you tell him this, he will not mind you. They will not do anything about it. That is my concern about it. It's not that I have an issue with the national... national hey, this is not a personal gripe. You are pers- saying that it's it's not, they are not efficient. Is that what you are saying, it. Anthony? Exactly. They are not efficient. Mm. Until they, up to now, people are still disturbing with district executives. Boss, I've not received my certificate. I, think, I have no idea. Like, a whole, you know, a whole executive, you have personal effort. We too, we are fighting at work disturbing our national president to fight for us. He too, will not come and release any community. You, you know, um, sometimes I do wonder, you know, the, the structure of NASPA has been developed in such a way that it's nice to me. Okay. Before you become a national executive, you first have to become a district executive. Okay. A regional executive before you get to national. So these same national executives are district executives. Mm. Sometimes you do wonder and ask yourself whether they, they get, get the same complaint that we are getting. Surprisingly, surprisingly, the national president, who happens to be the Ayawasu West president, hmm. has locked the Ayawasu West page for more than seven months. When you say lock the page, what does that mean? I mean, okay, um, let, let me blocked come. all messages. Let, let me oh, come. okay. So he's not accessible. The and page is blocked. Blocked. So you cannot send any message to that page. You know, surprisingly, the same national president, who happens to be the greater Accra Regida president, Mm. has also locked the Greater Accra Congress page. So that means that which page are we going to express our views on? A lot of you are expressing your views here on Facebook. I'll read out uh, two, three or four of said comments and uh, the gentleman will take leave of us and go on television again to amplify this conversation. Uh, But this one is coming from, uh, it says L.S. Opong, bear with me. I'll read that out. The National Service has not deducted any illegal money from the personnel. It was a result of uncleared system issue prior to the initial 25 cities deducted. The scheme rectified this issue immediately. The concern was raised per the scheme. The personnel's 25 cities was refunded. Again, the scheme is saying that if your 25 cities has not been refunded, go to your director and file a complaint. Um, this message coming from Apong. Uh, Apong, get back to us. Let's know what you're, uh, where you're coming from. If you can provide us with further insights. Gentlemen. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the, that particular gentleman is, a, is an executive. Okay. You, yes, you, so you know this individual. Yeah, exactly. The least said. The better. <laughs> the Let better. me move on. I, d- I don't know why the gentlemen are saying that they have their own reasons. Yeah. This one is coming from Abdullah Mohammed. Great work. NSP from the Colleges of Education started their national service February 2023 and this January is their leave month 
Currently, they are owed November and December allowances from last year. I think we discussed um, this one. So, uh, some of the comments. Uh, <laughs> do keep your thoughts coming. We'll read them out before we say goodbye. And, of course, when I open up the phone lines, if anybody has uh, more to add on this particular one, please do so. The gentleman would be going on New Day again to have this conversation. But final thoughts, and I'll let you, I'll let you leave us. Okay, so... Um some members of the scheme reached out to us yesterday okay and uh, have promised to resolve the issue actually they said uh, the executive director is not aware of some of these things though okay we have uh, your own reservations yes, and thoughts about that yes. but fine you know we are interested in the resolution of these concerns sure and so we are ever ready uh, to in, pa- in fact uh, work with them mm to resolve this issue all right fantastic so, uh, our our intended uh, um, activities what we intended to do um, after this um, engagement mm-hmm. we will suspend it for the meantime okay yeah we will give them uh, a week a week yeah. seven days yes said so they, they are conducting an audit okay that's what they told us okay uh, to get all these issues rectified so as long as we want these issues rectified, uh, we would work with them and, uh, to resolve it. Yeah. Mm. We'll certainly ask the Secretariat to respond. It's only fair that once you've given us your side of the situation, we also hear from the Secretariat. We juxtapose the two answers yeah. and we get uh, the way forward. Mm. Anthony Hamidou, Ezekiel, thank you so much for your time this morning. You say in seven days. Are you, are you going to take the path of organized labor? They said in seven days, <laughs> they too, they are waiting for government. They will advise themselves. Will you also be advising yourselves? Exactly. Yes, but okay. for us, uh, we will keep whatever plans we have to ourselves. Hey. Yeah. Fantastic, <laughs> gentlemen. Thank you so much for your time this morning. They said they will keep whatever they are going to be doing inside their head. Maybe like the TUC, they will also advise themselves. But there's more coming right up on 3FM Sunrise on 3FM.